Emotional triggers. Let's look into emotional triggers. What is an emotional trigger? Well, something happens and you get emotional triggered by that event. That could be both what we call positive and negative triggered emotionally. But usually when we get interested in what the emotional triggers is, Usually that is because of what we know as negative emotional triggers. And what is a negative emotional trigger? <clears throat> as I said, something happens and it triggers you emotionally. You might be angry, you might be become frustrated. You might become sad. But most of the times it has to do with anger. And if a human being has a lot of these emotional triggers, then that human being is experiencing anger often. And that is in itself frustrating. And there is also this sense of loss of autonomy, loss of free will. Because these emotional triggers, they highlight to us that there are aspects of this being that we are that has no free will. And that is the emotional triggers. They are excellent pointers towards that. I will dive into what emotional triggers is and what to do about it uh, in this video. What, what can be done about it? Perhaps I should rephrase that to what, what, is, what is possible to do about it. Okay. A lot of humans, they experience these emotional triggers. And there are a lot of common uh, about the events that triggers. Actually, emotional triggers and the whole energy behind it is extremely simple. And in many ways it is the simplicity about it that makes it difficult. Because the mind, or I could put it in this way, the simplicity about it reveals what it is that is going on, but the mind does not want that solution. The simplicity about it reveals what to do and why it is happening. And in that also lies the solution. But that solution the mind does not want. And that is why we are getting stuck. And why these emotional triggers continues to dictate 
our behavior in a lot of situations, continuing to reminding us of our loss of autonomy, our loss of free will in these situations. And then something else can happen. We might get frustrated about ourselves and then we add another layer to the mess, to the mental mess. But it is actually quite simple what is going on. And there are no other solutions than to fully acknowledge what it is that is going on. You cannot control your way out of emotional triggers. That is impossible. And that is why you have heard me say before that what you are trying to control will be controlling you. And again, these emotional triggers, they are a perfect example of that. If you are trying to control, and in this context, control means to suppress. If you are trying to control emotional triggers, you are trying to suppress them. But you cannot do that. You cannot succeed in that. And I will explain why. Before I explain why it is important for me to repeat myself, there will most likely be something within you that will be tempted to just run away from this video. Because what I am about to tell you, you do not want to know. Or I will have to rephrase that. There is something within you that do not want to know that. But that something within you that do not want to know that, that is not you. That is not who you are truly. But that something within you is a conditioned pattern. And when we identify with that conditioned pattern, that is the definition of the human ego. We are lost within that dream world. And as long as we are lost within that dream world, there are no escaping. You cannot escape something that does not really exist. So, we have to face facts. We have to see clearly what is going on. And when we see clearly what is going on, that will dissolve the conditioning. That will dissolve the emotional triggers eventually. Bear in mind that these emotional triggers, they have been with you for a long time in most cases. And you know them very well, even though you are trying to suppress them. But they have been with you for a long time. And you cannot just make them go away like this. Well, sometimes we can. No, we do not really. It's not really us who can make them go away. Sometimes, in a flash of a light, we see very clearly what is going on. And then sometimes that very clear seeing makes the emotional trigger evaporate. But don't count on that. Or don't expect that to happen. Because you have been reminding yourself over and over and over again in this conditioning. You have been re reminding yourself of something that I will reveal to you. 
And that means that you have to, in most cases, we have to remind ourselves of the clear seeing for a period before the illusion falls away. So, okay. As I mentioned, emotional triggers, they are very simple. The whole structure within it is very, very simple. And we have to see that clearly. And we have to acknowledge what it is that is going on. Here it is. Every time you get emotional triggered, you witness something that you don't like. You witness something that something within you says, this should not be. That's it. And you might have been repeating what should not be to yourself so many times that you have no longer a clear thinking about it, but it is something that subsides down in the subconscious. This should not be. And that which should not be is directly linked to your value system. Your value system determines how you expect everything to be. How you expect yourself to behave. How you expect other people to behave. How you expect nature to behave. And how you expect God to behave. So if, for instance, there is an earthquake and a lot of human beings are being killed, then you might have an emotional trigger based upon you saying, this should not be. And blaming God, why do you do this? In other cases, it could be very, very simple. There is a lot of emotional triggers just in everyday life. For instance, in traffic. <laughs> and the phenomenon of road rage. <laughs> this should not be. That is what is being repeated within your subconscious. This ought not to happen. This is the solution to that. What happens should happen. Do you know why? Because it does. When you say this ought not to happen, you at the same time say, I am God and I am the one who knows how everything ought to unfold. You might not be saying that directly to yourself, but that is what you imply when you say to yourself, this should not happen. But it is. They should behave different, but they don't. And one more thing about that. When you do that, you construct a a mental prison within your are imprisoning yourself because you demand from yourself an extremely high standard. A standard that you cannot live up to. And these emotional triggers, they show you that again and again and again. Why do you think that you are so perfect?
Stop demanding being so perfect of yourself. No human being is that perfect. So stop demanding it from yourself. Make what we call mistakes. Learn from them. Don't try to avoid every possible mistake. You cannot do that. If you try to avoid every possible mistake, then you stop living. I don't know if you have noticed that. And then you sit there righteously. Is that the right word to say it? Feeling righteous. <laughs> I am above all of those. I'm not being very flattering, am I? I know that. I am chopping down the illusions with a sword. That's what they have to do. I'm cutting them away like a surgeon. You could go back, say, oh, I don't want this. Uh, I don't want to face reality. I do not want to admit that I'm not perfect. Then go back. Keep on doing what you're doing. Exhaust yourself. But you will end at the same spot. Facing reality. This should not be happening, but it does. They should know better and stop doing that, but they don't. So there you have it. It is extremely simple. Emotional triggers, they are there, not because of what is happening. Never because of what is happening, but because you deem what is happening as being wrong. You have to see that clearly if you want to be freed from the, the mental straitjacket that these emotional triggers are. No one has the ability to trigger anything within you unless you are ready to deem it as wrong. And most human beings that are triggered emotionally, they are blaming the outside world. And that is why it is impossible to fix, because you cannot fix the outside world. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Try harder to fix the outside world. It cannot be done, and that's actually a good thing. Because that means that fixing this problem is 100% an internal task. You have the solution within yourself. And the solution is to see clearly what is going on. When you get emotional triggered, something is happening and you are witnessing it. And you are deeming that which is happening as being wrong. But then the conditioned mind says, I cannot deem it as being right. No, you don't have to do that either. The conditioned mind is often black or white, this or that, nothing in between. No, you don't have to deem it right. 
all you have to do is to acknowledge that what is, is. What is going on, is going on. And then you can remind yourself that the complexity of human existence is so vast, is so unbelievable complex that you cannot possibly know the reasons for why something is happening. If something interests you, then you can investigate and dive into it. Try to do it as unbiased as possible. Try to find out from all perspectives. Then you can truly say to yourself, now I have, I have unraveled everything I can about this subject. That's okay, but you cannot do that about everything that is happening. And that is why most human beings, they are having a very, very, very tiny, tiny, tiny superficial point of view. But still, they are using this very superficial, very narrow point of view. They are using that to deem everything as being either good or bad. And every time you deem something as being wrong or bad, based upon almost no knowledge about it, every time you do that, you will be experiencing emotional triggers. So the solution is not to accept it as being okay or right, what is going on. The solution is just simply to accept that it is happening. And then you can remind yourself, I cannot possibly know the depth of why this is happening. But I can simply acknowledge that this is happening. Well, does that then mean that if you walk on the street and someone gets assaulted, that you just say to yourself, I don't know why this is happening, so I just move on. No, that does not mean that. The deeper wisdom within you knows how to react and how to act in situations like that. Again, it is not black and white. So the solution is acknowledge that emotional triggers has absolutely nothing to do with what you are witnessing, but it has everything to do about how you are judging what is happening. So it is 100% an internal. Then look upon, start, look, start questioning your own value system. Start questioning the, the things that you have been uh, putting on a pedestal without ever really looking into what is going on. Start questioning those things. That is uh, beliefs, beliefs that I have not been truly investigated. When you start doing that, you will find a gold mine there of insight and wisdom. And then also, when you start noticing, ah, I am being emotional triggered. Why am I being emotional triggered right now? And, and, and in the, the beginning, you will, you will experience that this questioning will happen afterwards because the emotional triggers will most likely just completely overtake you. That's okay, no problem. But then afterwards, ah, I've just had one of those emotional triggers, trigger events. 
What was it that triggered me? Ah, it was this and this. Okay, then ask yourself, do I deem that as wrong? And you will be able to say, yes, I do. And that is why you are being emotional triggered. Then look at the situation again. Ask yourself, how can I be sure that this is wrong? Can I be sure that this is wrong? I may not endorse it. <laughs> I may not like what is going on. But is that the same as I being able to say that this should not be? Every time something is happening and you are saying this should not be, you are playing God. You pedestalize yourself saying that I should be the one who knows how everything ought to be. But reality does not listen to you. I don't know if you have noticed that. <laughs> so climb down from that pedestal. And again, I know I am not very flattering, but this impulse, this impulse, emotional triggers impulse, it has to be cut through very precisely and very clearly, for else it will just continue. So it is an act of love I am doing, although I may be sounding harsh, but it is still an act of love. It is because I love you, and I do not want you to suffer unnecessarily. And these emotional triggers, they are unnecessary suffering. Everything is exactly as it ought to be. We cannot possibly know why things are happening as they are happening on the grand scale. But we are growing. We are growing in insight, in wisdom, and we are maturing. The funny thing about these emotional triggers and the whole system behind them is that it is actually a very childish, childish impulse. It is something that we have brought with us from our childhood where at least some humans, they got the impression that they could demand from reality what was going to happen. And if a child experienced that, oftentimes it takes this impulse with it into the adult life and it keeps on banging its head against reality. Why does reality not comply to my wishes? Reality does never comply to any wishes. Reality is to be What's it called? Cooperated with. From moment to moment. See what reality is offering you of options. Choose amongst those options. And unfold from there. 